Hi everyone, this is Dada of Project Recoveries and today I'm going to show you how to transform a Magnolia ice cream container into a weathered terracotta pot. So first we will need a very small amount of our chalk paint in the palayok color and some old chip brushes. Please don't throw away these chip brushes because they're very useful especially when you're trying to achieve a highly textured and irregular finish such as what we want for this project. So as you can see, I'm just really haphazardly glopping the paint on. This is a foolproof project and is ideal to make with your kids. So I allow the paint to dry overnight just because I wanted the paint to have more time to, to harden a bit, especially because we're painting on a plastic container. Now for the second coat, I think this is very important. You have to paint in a horizontal direction. If you remember, handmade terracotta pots actually have these horizontal striations, which are marks of the potter's hand. While I'm already happy with the matte finish of our palayo color on the container, I wanted to add a more weathered, rustic effect to the pot by using a technique called the dry brush technique. Dry brush is when you have a very, very, very small amount of paint on your brush um, and then gently or lightly feathering it over the surface. The softer or the more gentle you can layer on the paint, the better the effects will be. Second technique I'm going to show is where we very lightly and randomly paint on a second layer of color. So for this, I'm using the Dalampasigan color and as you can see, I'm just randomly painting it on with some areas where there are more paint and some areas where there are just very little. Our last step is sanding. Now, if your dry brush technique is good, it already looks natural, so you just need to sand it a bit just to blend it further and make it look more, more natural. Sanding is very much similar to blending in makeup. It's a technique where you try to soften or blur the lines to separate each layer of color or makeup for that matter. Here are our finished projects and because I love the weathered rustic aesthetic, I'm really happy with how these turned out. So there's my first video tutorial. I hope you find them helpful. Um, stay tuned because I plan to release similar videos in the next weeks and months. See you around!